welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady for you guys. Welcome to all of my amazing boss buddies. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Happy, happy, fabulous Friday to each and every one of you guys. Listen, I am out today. I'm going to go around to a few stores to see what they have. I'm going to go to some city trends. I'm going to go... Um, I'm gonna check maybe Walmart today because I'm thinking Walmart should have hit 75% um, today. Um, I think maybe Hobby Lobby should be hitting 90% today. I don't know. Within a day or so, I know. Anyway, it doesn't take them long at all to hit it. So I got a couple of errands I need to run. I need to go to the bank. I need to go do a few um, a few things, but my main mission for the earlier part of today is to um get out here in these streets and see what kind of deals i can get okay there are a lot of shoppers still out um not just gift basket designers but just people in general that like to buy on clearance for birthdays people know that valentine's day is coming up so people are out shopping so if you're going to get these items you need to go ahead and get them or be on the lookout for what you're going to get okay those of you that follow me know that i do not um normally purchase items at 50 percent off i try my best not to purchase them at 70 percent off but it just depends on what it is and how much of a need or necessity it is for me or my business so you have to do the same and of course it's according to where you live and the supply and demand for the items where you live so um i'm out today to see what i can get of course you know i'm gonna bring you guys on the journey along with me to see what we can find um my main mission is to get gift sets um perfume and cologne sets whether it be name brand off brand whatever i serve so many customers that they um they buy both okay some people are not into name brands some people are you know i cater to both so um that's what we're going to be doing today probably um next week i'm going to go to the bath and body works outlet um i have not taken advantage of the semi-annual sale because when i go to the um outlet the prices are always the same i can always find items for two and three dollars so i'm not in a rush to shop online at bath and body works so i'm gonna just wait and go there um next week to see what i can find but guess what i'm excited about y'all today i have my nieces which i hired temporarily to work with me i'm gonna see how it goes <laughs> i'm gonna see how it goes um they are still in school of course so it's not like it's some part-time or full-time help it's just something temporary for a couple days while they're out of school so we're gonna see how things go today and if they go well today then hey we maybe get them back for another day or two to see how things go but um yeah they coming to help me out today i'm paying them of course i'm paying them about an hour and um i've already told them i said no breaks <laughs> no breaks and no um no breaks and no cell phone use y'all know on jobs now back in the days I hate to say back in the days, but a few years ago, before the pandemic came, um, you could not use phones and stuff on your job. Well, you weren't supposed to, right? But now, honey, on these jobs, I guess because the pandemic made work um, workers so limited that the employees are just kind of going for anything now, like just letting people do whatever they want to do. I mean folks you be standing in line waiting to get rung up at stores and people on their cell phone like you just wait till i finish doing what i'm doing on my phone talking to my friends on social media and then i'm gonna ring you up so i told my nieces because i know we all love our phones but i know younger folks most younger folks love them more than older folk but now some old folks down phones just much as young people but i told them i said no um cell phone usage and no breaks no breaks not meaning they can't stop to use the bathroom or nothing but no breaks meaning just sitting down being idle on your phone so we're gonna see how that go i'll keep y'all updated i'm gonna try to get some clips and footage just to let y'all see um how much they get done today okay all right i'll see y'all in a few okay so we have left from city trends and they had a few things that was on clearance that i picked up i'll show it later in the video or on a different video in a home but um for the most part 
um the gift sets were not marked down enough for me look like they may be maybe half price if that and of course that is not enough for me so we left the gift sets behind and we're going into walmart to see if the christmas items have gone to 75 percent and also to see if there are any more x gift sets left all right let's go okay so we have left from city trends and they had a few things that was on clearance that i picked up i'll show it later in the video or on a different video in a home but um for the most part um the gift sets were not marked down enough for me look like they may be maybe half price if that and of course that is not enough for me so we left the gift sets behind and we're going into walmart to see if the christmas items have gone to 75 percent and also to see if there are any more x gift sets left all right let's go so they're making me do one transaction one at a time so hey that's fine if they want to do it that way so i'm paying 34 cent per one which is the actual tax okay so we have left from city trends and they had a few things that was on clearance that i picked up i'll show it later in the video or on a different video in a home but um for the most part um the gift sets were not marked down enough for me look like they may be maybe half price if that and of course that is not enough for me so we left the gift sets behind and we're going into walmart to see if the christmas items have gone to 75 percent and also to see if there are any more x gift sets left all right let's go They're making me do one transaction one at a time so hey that's fine if they want to do it that way so i'm paying 34 cent per one which is the actual tax okay y'all so we just leave on walmart and the transactions went through absolutely fine the only thing is this is the first even even though i know that the um coupon says to write the amount in there this is the first store that i've been to that actually wrote the amount in so um yeah it does say it but to be honest not everybody reads the fine print we as consumers don't neither do the cashiers read the fine print so this is the first store that i went to like i said that they actually wrote the amount in so although they wrote the amount in and i believe now i haven't read this because i haven't read all the fine print um i was told that the uh limit is three dollars and fifty cent but she wrote five dollars and thirty three cent on the um coupon so hey it worked and i got it okay all right y'all so our next stop is to the gym we are right here in walmart parking lot which is where the planet fitness is that i go to um so yeah we are going to go to the gym for a few and once we leave the gym and we will head off to our next store guys we gotta get our health together while we're shopping okay which shopping is working out the kind of shopping i do you know i do a lot of bending and squatting and reaching and all that kind of stuff but still need to go to the gym okay so that's where we're headed to now see you so today is box pickup day and we are at our local fred foods club and we're gonna pick up some boxes they have quite a few here so hopefully they are not damaged and we can use them let's see so the boxes are absolutely free you can come over here and get as many as you want but you have to make sure they've not been damaged or have like food spills on them and you also want to make sure that they are sturdy enough to hold your gifts so they got a lot of boxes out here today they don't look like they are the normal sturdy boxes that they used to have we don't want to pick out boxes that have had chicken and stuff like that in okay y'all so my niece is working doing these candles remember i was telling you guys that if you happen to purchase some fall candles that you could still use them for valentine's day so what she's doing is just going um through 
and covering up the word harvest and putting the hearts on top of them, okay? And these are the hearts that came from Dollar Tree for 125 of course. And all you gotta do is go in and cover it up. And here you have a candle that looks like it's Valentine's Day, okay? As long as it smells amazing, people don't really care what the scent is. But um, yeah, that's what you can do to cover up that word. So if you have fall items, you can definitely turn them into Valentine's items very easily. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so here is my other niece and she is working diligently, balling up paper for me, Miss Charlie. Charlie, I be calling her Charlie and so I be mixing it up. But yeah, Charlize is um, balling up paper for me, getting a head start on my basket. Okay, so here are the beautiful boxes that my mom wraps up every year. If you do not know how to wrap up these boxes, please take a look at one of my older YouTube videos. I will try to remember to put the link in the description bar. But guys, all these are ordinary boxes that she has taken wrapping paper and wrapped them up. The wrapping paper that you will see me using this year is from Walmart from last year's Valentine's clearance. So this year after Valentine's Day, make sure you are looking for this kind of paper, okay? If not, you can use basic red and white paper that doesn't look like Christmas. And all I do is go and get the hearts from Dollar Tree and just, um, you can either tape them or you can glue them on the front of your box. And there you have a beautiful box that you can put your gift baskets in. So what, you're low on funds or you don't have um, the inventory to work on your baskets, this is a great alternative. Okay, y'all. So my nieces came through as they told me that they would. Now they were late, okay? When they were supposed to have gotten all work, they were just getting to work, okay? But it's okay. They made it well worth my time when they got here. They took um, stickers off of um, items for me. They crushed newspaper and um, just took tags off of teddy bears. Just helped me with a whole lot of stuff. So as you guys see, I have two tables of unfinished baskets, but this is the way that I start to organize my baskets and put things together, just grouping off different things. And as I come across items in my boxes or my stockpile, then I go ahead and add them to my baskets. But yeah, so I'm well on my way. We got how many? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, like 13 or 14 baskets on these two tables that we are working on. And I will be wrapping these up probably not tomorrow because it's new year's eve and i have church tomorrow night um so they probably won't get finished tomorrow but by sunday i will have completed these 14 along with some more things that i'm working on i will show you guys that in another video okay i hope you guys like this video if you did please like share comment and subscribe if you haven't already and guys i will see you on the next video get your money honey and Say it again, Gavin, while you messing my tape up. Get your money, honey. Oops, Daddy. Come on, Gavin. Get your money, honey. Get the money, honey. And feel bad. <laughs> feel your bag. Feel bad. Tell them, say, boss, but it's feel your bag. Feel, feel, feel bad. Tell them, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, who? Bye bye. Say, bye bye, boss. Bye -bye. Boss what? Bye -bye -bye. You acting crazy, boy. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. See you on the next video. Bye. Yeah.